Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. So, follow up from yesterday's video. You saw my lathe in pieces and I made it to the basement. Well, I present to you all back together. Yes, I made it back together. Um, new legs are attached. New old legs are attached. They were never on there before. Again, I'd said in the first previous video that I had hastily made a, uh, a wooden bench for this to sit on. This is a bench top craftsman model um after uh going through it and uh doing a lot of adjustments and cleaning a well needed cleaning and oiling she is back together and running so we can just come over here and hit our switches and she's running nice and smooth and her reverse works you can see her our janky electrical ground there that was done by the previous owner. But I haven't done much to this machine since I got it. Actually, actually it was given to me probably about 15 or plus years ago. Time has a tendency to elude me. But uh, I went through it uh, after this move. Oiled everything. Greased all the gears. The door now actually locks you can see our gear train there and then the door locks where it did not before it used to kind of vibrate and just kind of move itself over while it was working um everything works on it feed works on it um the one thing i don't have is out of the change gears i don't have that's the gearing that's on it is the gearing that came with it and that's all there is to it. I don't have any of the change gears for threading or anything like that. So I just don't do it with this machine. Um, getting the legs on was a kind of a neat trick. Uh, it's been something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Like I said, I got these, I got these legs uh, probably about um, probably it's six, seven years ago. But uh, this is, like I said, a bench top model. So it was made to be mounted flat on the bench with support all the way from one side to the other. So it was never meant to have this opening right in here. So what I did is I cut these pieces a half inch plate at work and then bolted. There were two bolts for the, um, the original lathe that this was attached to. And I actually have the original lathe bed up uh up in my garage i have no idea what to do with it but um but one of the things i did because this was bench top mounted it only had one mounting hole here and i was afraid that if i just mounted it there and then had our our legs it would cause too much stress on it and possibly break the casting so one of the things i did is you can see there's actually a bolt right here and it's bolted through the plate so you have support from this end to the other side and then that plate is just set up with another plate that that pinches it sits on top of the casting right here and pinches down so you have support all the way across the whole thing um that was my solution to that and actually i kind of stole that idea from the way the head is mounted because that's the way the headstock is mounted. It actually has a, a plate right here that's a bolt through bolted. And it just pinches itself in place. So that's what I did there. And then this has the one on either side. There's nothing on the back side. So you have one on either side there. And again, I figured that the bolt pattern was so tight. Between these being here and these being here that that wouldn't be an issue and it bolted up nice and tight and stayed nice and tight. So that's uh, how I supported that. And it seems to be rock solid. I mean, I, I can, doesn't really want to move. It's a little, needs a little leveling because of the concrete floor, but otherwise it's in good shape. Um, very happy that this is down here now and I can actually work without freezing my butt off in the garage. Um, but that's the way she sits. So any questions, comments down below? Um, Going to be putting out some more videos soon. 
So uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, anyway, just uh, shooting, shooting the poop around the shop. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.